Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to see the application of integral calculus. One such topic is hydrostatic pressure and force. Let's see the problem. A dam is in the shape of a trapezoid. So we have a dam and the dam is in the shape of a trapezoid. The height is 20 meter and the width is 50 meter at the top and 30 meter at the bottom. Let's construct a small diagram for the given dimension. So we have the dam in the shape of a trapezoid and we have a different width. The width is 50 meter at the top and 30 meter at the bottom. So let's construct the dam. So we have like this in the top and we have like this in the bottom. Let's join these two and these two. So this is a trapezoid. Let's mark the dimension which is on the top it is 50 meter and in the bottom it is 30 meter. And they have also given the height is 20. So we take the height from here till here. So let's draw it separately. So this is our height 20 meter. And we have to find the force on the dam due to hydrostatic pressure. So as per the question we have to find the force on the dam due to the hydrostatic pressure if the water level is 4 meter from the top of the dam. So we have the height as 20 meter but we have the water level 4 meter from the top of the dam. It means the water is not fully present 4 meter from the top. So in this portion water present and let's mark the dimension also that is this part is 4 meter. When this is 4 meter and the remaining part from here to here should be 16. So this is 4 and the remaining is 16 meter. Then only the total height of the dam is 20 meter but water present only 16 meter height. We are going to find the force on the dam due to the hydrostatic pressure. Let's take the basic formula. Pressure is force by area. From this I can take what is force which is pressure into area. And pressure we have a formula rho g d, d for depth. And area is length into breadth. So we are going to find what is the depth and what is the length and breadth to a small strip which we are going to assume. So let's consider a small strip. So the entire region is split into small strip which is approximated to the rectangular shape like this. Before that we are going to draw a symmetrical axis. So we take this as the vertical axis and horizontal axis we take it here. So from the zero level if we keep moving towards the bottom we have totally 16 meters. So this is our zero level and here it is 16. When we move till here it is totally 16 meter. So now we have drawn a symmetrical line. So this part is 15 meter and even this is 15 meter. The entire third is divided into two parts. We are going to construct another line from here and let's consider this horizontal strip which we have considered is present at the 
depth of h meters and already from here to here it is 4 meter total is 20 so this part from here till the bottom it has to be 16 minus h then only by adding everything plus h minus h gets cancelled and 16 plus 4 is 20 and let's consider the width of the strip which we have considered is delta x now we are going to consider the width from here to here is small a and uh, this portion 50 is split into 25 this entire region is 25 in the same way other side also 25 but again we already know till here it is 15 so this is 15 and this will be 10 we shall take this part of the diagram separately we are going to construct the diagram that is we have a similar triangle like this and here we have the strip and this is A and this is 10 and this part alone is 16 minus H and the entire height is 20. We have an angle common angle for both the triangle and these two are 90 degree. When two angles are same then these two triangles are similar. I take this as A, B, C, then D, E. So we have two triangle. In triangle, we take the big triangle A, B, C and A, E, D. We find angle A which is equal to angle A. It is common. And in big triangle, Angle A, C, B is 90 and small triangle A, D, E is 90. So these two are equal. These two are common angle and this is equal. So by A, A similarity, by A, A similarity, we can say triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle a E D. So we can take the sides proportional. In the big triangle we take base by height. Base is 10, height is 20. So 10 by 20 equal to in the small triangle the base is A, height is 16 minus H. So base is A, height is 16 minus H. From this we are going to find what is A. We can cancel this. By cross multiplying we get 16 minus h equal to a and we have this half. So half into 16 minus h. Now the value of a from here by dividing individually 16 by 2 minus h by 2. 16 by 2 is 8 minus h by 2. So we got the value of a and I need the entire width from here to here. So for that I have to add 15 with A and the same thing present here. So I have to take twice. So we take the width W equal to we have to take twice. We have to add 15 with this A. 15 plus A is half of the width. 15 plus A is half of the width which is present here. 15 plus A. And into 2 if I take, it covers the entire width of the strip which we have assumed. So, we are going to substitute the value of A. So, it is 2 into 15 plus 8 minus H by 2. 
Now this is 2 into 15 plus 8, 23 minus h by 2. And when we take LCM, the LCM is 2. Outside we have 2. And this 2 will be multiplied here. So 46 minus h. So we can cancel this. So we got the width of the stoop which we assume which is at a distance h from the top of the water level is 46 minus h. Now coming to this formula of the force which is rho g d into l into b. So now force equal to rho g d and l into b. Rho is the density of water which is 1000, G is 9.8 and the depth D which is already marked in the diagram which is present at a distance of H from the top level of the water. So the D is H here. So we take into H and length is the one which we found here. That is length is from here till here that only we already marked as w that is width which is 46 minus h and the breadth is it is a small strip which is taken as the delta x so we take delta x here and since we are going to find the force for that small strip which we have assumed we take this as f and let that be the strip i. So when we need the entire force we have to integrate this force value over the distance or the depth starting from it starts here and till the end the entire length from here to here is 16 already we have marked. So our limit of the integration starts from 0 till 16 and fi and we substitute the value of fi so it is integral 0 to 16 when you multiply 1000 with this it is 9800 and h let's multiply here so this becomes 46 h minus h square into and it is for the total region so we take d h. Instead of this del x, we take it as dh because already we have written this in terms of h. So this del x is nothing but del h now and when we integrate we change into dh. So we are going to integrate this with respect to h. So the constant which is 9800 is taken outside and the integration of 46h is 46 h square by 2 minus h cube integration is sorry h square integration is h cube by 3 and our limit is from 0 to 16. Now we have to substitute the upper limit the place where we have h so outside numbers are written as it is and we can cancel this it is 23 so it is 23 into 16 square minus 16 cube whole divided by 3 and lower limit is 0. So when we substitute the lower limit will become 0. We are going to simplify this which is 9800 into 16 square can be taken outside. So this will be 23 minus remaining is 16 divided by 3. For easier calculation I have taken 16 square which is common. 16 square is 256 and here we are going to take LCM. So this will be 69 minus 16. Now this is 9800 0, 0 into 256. After subtraction it is 53 then whole divided by 3. Let's multiply the numerator part. Totally it is 1329664000 0, 0 whole divided by 3. After division we get 4432213.33. So we convert into scientific notation. From here 
the decimal is moved 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we move here and this value is written as 4.43 into 10 power 7 and the unit of force is Newton so in the question they asked find the force on the dam due to the hydrostatic pressure if the water is 4 meter from the top of the dam and the force due to the hydrostatic pressure is 4.43 into 10 power 7 Newton.